This video is sponsored by Witchsong Miniatures. Epic minis, $1 a month. Seriously. Sometimes when I'm reading all my comments, I come across a few that seem like they are being demotivated by my videos, which is quite unfortunate. So why is that? And what can you do to stay motivated without being discouraged? I am gonna answer all of this, but first... What are you doing when you paint? Are you painting in a group? Do you have some movie running in the background? Or are you listening to music or podcasts? Because I'm spending so much time painting, my preferred choice is podcasts. And that's also how I came up with this topic. One day I was listening to an episode of Philosophize This Podcast, which was about values and meaning in life. The episode was about how living your best life according to your values will inspire others to do the same. And this can be applied to miniature painting, right? By posting your work and your improvement, you will surely inspire other hobbyists as well. But for every motivated person, how many are discouraged? Just think about this. You are scrolling on Instagram and suddenly you see something like this. It is beautiful. You would love to paint like this. But is there a chance to get to this level? Maybe maybe not. Perhaps you don't have as much time as the professional painter that creates this amazing art. And even if you do, maybe you don't have the skills yet. And this creates a huge gap between what you want and what you are able to get. This gap is actually something that Lila already talked about in her video on this topic. Simply put, by being exposed to work of others, your standards increase. You see amazing art online, but you tell yourself that you won't ever get there because of your skills and time. So what do we do about this? If you don't ever close the gap, you'll be quite unhappy painter. So you can either decrease your desires by not setting your standards too high, or you can improve. For the latter to happen, you just have to learn and practice deliberately. But let's talk about your standards, because that's way more interesting. You see, when I started painting minis, it was just for my Warhammer army. And all I wanted is for my minis to look exactly like on box art. I've been painting minis for over 10 years and taken it seriously just the last four. And that's also when most of my progress happened. The reason why I improved so much lately is because there are so many great resources online and I put in the effort. When I started though, there weren't nearly as many resources and all I had for reference was Warhammer box art. And sure enough, I had no idea how to make something look like on the box art. But I tried anyway, and even though I failed, I didn't really feel discouraged. After all, I didn't follow any painters on social media, and I told myself that box art is this sort of holy grail of miniature painting that just a few people achieve in their life. How foolish I was. So on one hand, I didn't improve too much because I had no access to good tutorials, but on the other hand, I didn't really feel discouraged, because the only people I compared myself to were the ones I played Warhammer with. And the Warhammer box art. But you know, I just assumed that it is kinda this unattainable thing. So what am I trying to say here? It's only once you compare yourself to other painters that you start to feel discouraged. And what is even worse is when you watch a tutorial, try to learn from it, but you fail. If you have tried to do the same thing that the person does in their video and you are not able to get the same result, then where is the problem? Are you the problem? No, it's me. I am the problem. Before we continue, this is a message from today's sponsor, Witch Song Miniatures. There are many great Patreons and tribes for 3D printable miniatures, but those usually cost like $10 a month. Now get this, Witch Song subscription is only $1 a month. Yep, heard it right, just $1. But how is that possible? While with other subscriptions you pay for a bundle of like 20 to 50 miniatures, and let's face it, you won't print most of those, Witch Song focuses on a single epic miniature that is usually 140 millimeters to 200 millimeters tall. But of course, you can downsize them. However, if you pledge $3 a month, you also get a bust, a seasonal miniature, and 50% discount to their existing minis. And when you join, you get one extra mini as a welcome gift. Because the subscription is so cheap and quality is outstanding, no wonder that Witch Song is currently number one tribe on my mini factory. And if you are still not sure, you can download their Faceless King absolutely free of charge, no strings attached. Guys, these are high quality miniatures just for one dollar, 
So check it out, there is gonna be a link in the description. And thank you Witchsong Miniatures for sponsoring this video. So as I already mentioned, comparing yourself to others will make you unhappy. But when you try to follow a tutorial and you are not able to get the same result as shown in the video, that's even worse. Because when I unfold all my miniature painting secrets and you aren't able to get the same result, then it's very hard to know what is the issue. But I'll tell you what is the issue. We don't show you everything. <gasps> That's right. Content creators don't show you the entire process. And of course we don't. It's not possible. And even if we did record the entire process, you wouldn't watch all of it. We need to simplify. We need to cut it down to the most important parts so you can get as much value from the video in as little time as possible. But inevitably, there will be points where you lose out on key information. Like, for example, I don't show you each time when I glaze that you need to wick off the access, but I do it anyway. Or sometimes you might get the impression that the entire painting process is very fast and easy. But we don't always tell you how much time we spend on a single mini. Most of the time, it takes me tens of hours to paint a mini for a video and a huge chunk of it is spent on fixing mistakes. But you don't see that. And it's the same thing for those amazing painters on Instagram. You see amazing results, but you don't see how long did it take to learn all of this. So what might be the solution here? Should you just stop following other miniature painters because you feel discouraged? I mean, if it's a real big problem for you and holds you back from painting, maybe? but probably not. Let's look at it this way. You and I know that we both won't ever play in the NBA. But does it stop us from playing some basketball for fun? Or even better, would you give up on getting in shape just because you won't be able to get physique like this? Guys, I don't want to lose weight because I won't ever look like that. Of course, that's ridiculous. And it's the same for miniature painting. You can't compare yourself to these freaks. It's literally hundreds of hours put into small miniature and years of practice. Seriously, it doesn't make sense to compare your models with that. Lower your expectations. You can improve and you can improve significantly. But it's like fitness. You cannot really expect to lift 100 kilos for bench press if you have never been in the gym before. All right. So it's clear that you can't compare yourself to other miniature painters when your circumstances are entirely different. But personally, I still think it's worth following them for inspiration and as a something that you can aspire to. But what about those tutorials? You see, I don't think it's an issue when content creators don't show you the entire process. The problem is when you don't have the necessary foundation and you try some of the more advanced stuff. It's very important that you already have some basic knowledge when you try try to paint stuff like OSL or some very nice skin tones. For example, if you try to follow my guide to painting OSL, I am sure that you will find some useful information there. But I don't really cover blending as much there. Why? That's because I have so many videos on blending already. So if you are a subscriber, chances are that you already know how to do that. And I fully realize that's not always the case. But if I were to explain everything in that video, instead of short and sweet 8 minutes, you would be looking at 30 minute video, which is yucky. So how do you fill those gaps in knowledge? If you have a hard time getting the same result as the one you find in some tutorials, there are two solutions. I am gonna shoot myself in the foot with the first solution because you might wanna watch some of those longer tutorials which I don't really have. For example, it might be a good idea to watch some of those Warhammer painting tutorials where the mini is painted from the start to finish. Sure, it is long, but if you decide to follow such tutorial, you will build the necessary foundation for the more advanced stuff. The other solution is to find an universal guide to basic miniature painting techniques that also serves as a foundation. I have actually made such a video and it's a great solution if you can't find full length tutorial for your particular mini. So before you try more advanced techniques, check it out and see you there.